Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. In this episode, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Boss Monster, but I want to address a question I was asked a few different times after the last playthrough. In that episode, this torture room was destroyed. I used that boulder ramp that I've been using so frequently to destroy this room and give myself some more damage points. So then people asked me, how come you didn't use the destroy this room effect written on the card when you discarded it? Well, let's take a closer look at the torture room and I'll try to clear this up. If a room is destroyed by another card effect, like the boulder ramp, or because someone plays a spell to destroy it, this destroy room ability will not be resolved. Instead, this is only resolved when the player chooses to destroy the room specifically to activate the ability. For example, during the build phase, I could announce to Luke, I'm going to destroy my torture chamber in order to force you to discard a card from your hand. I would then remove the torture chamber from my dungeon. But if I use the boulder ramp to destroy a room as I've been doing so frequently, I don't get to resolve those destroy this room effects. So hopefully that's clear. And now we've been joined by... Luke Smith. That's right, because it's time to continue our boss monster playthrough. And I know my dungeon is not looking good. I'm definitely in the losing position by quite a bit. But I did get some good suggestions. And James Porter got the most votes. Actually, a couple different people proposed the exact same thing. They also got votes. So altogether, I'm very confident that this is what people want me to do. So I've already put the room that I want to build face down here in my dungeon. You've got yours face down. Let's go to the table and find out what's going to happen. So the room that I'm building is called the Spectre's Sanctum. And the main reason why I'm building this is to cover up this bag of gold. We have two thieves waiting to go into one of our dungeons. And currently, I had two bags of gold and Luke only had one. I did not want to face both of these thieves. I could have probably beaten the little thief, but this one would have gotten through and done two wounds to me. So by covering up that treasure symbol, now we're good to go. Also, I gained a new ability. When I build this room, I choose an opponent. Luke, it's going to be you, and you have to discard a random spell from your hand. Oh, thank you. Why are you thanking me? Mine's motivation. If you have fewer rooms than an opponent, you may build an extra room this turn. It really doesn't seem likely at this point that Luke is going to have less rooms than I do in my dungeon. I could really have used that spell myself, but that's the way it goes. Luke, what room are you building? I'm building the one we all know, the boulder ramp. You got a boulder ramp. Yep. You're copying my strategy. Yep. I don't know that I can recommend that based on how my game is going, but maybe, maybe now that you have this big dungeon and you're so close to finishing, you know what? This probably is going to be really useful for you, especially if you have to face one of these bigger heroes. Which I will, because now I have two and you only have one. Oh, look at that. You covered up these two books and put another gold. So I was trying to get rid of my money bags. And I'm trying to get it. Oh, oh my goodness. So you're going to end up taking both of these. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, we'll start with this one and we'll see how proud you are of it because I think you're probably going to have to destroy at least one of your rooms in order to defeat this That's thief. the point. That is the point? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with this little guy. The first thief will take one damage, then two, then plus one, which will make four, yes. five, and then six and yes, die. Yes, that's right. So this one is going to go away <clears throat> giving you one more point. But now you get the big thief. So he'll take one, two, plus one makes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But now I'm going to use the boulder ramp and destroy this room, which will reveal this room. Okay. So that's good for you, actually, because you need a trap room here if you want to yep. take advantage of this ability. So this is really working out well for you because five more damage is more than enough to defeat this epic hero thief. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to admit, I have considered looking at the camera and just saying, thanks for watching and just leaving this table because I don't think I can win this game. But, but, there was an expression I used to say to Luke when he would consider quitting things. What would I say? Smith, don't quit. That's right. And then we'd stick with whatever we were working on a little bit longer. Sometimes we would... Take a break. Take a break. Just, um, <laughs> Not really yeah. give up, but go, okay, maybe we'll come back to this later. But we have to come back to this right now as well. Um, next, we need to draw some heroes, right? Yeah. So let's see who our next heroes are going to be. It's a cleric. This I like to see, sort of. As long as I can defeat it, I want to see a cleric. 
It's got a health of 11. So actually, I think I could beat this one. The next hero is... Oh, it's a fighter. A fighter's bad for me because in order to attract this fighter, I would need to get four swords into my dungeons just to even tie you. This is probably the nail in my coffin right here. But we get to draw a card. Maybe I'll get something amazing. And then, well, we have to pick something to build. So give us a second, we'll look at our cards and then join us at the table and let's see what happens. So the person designing this dungeon clearly hasn't been very bright. So Isn't that you? <laughs> yes, I, that is me. Keep your comments to yourself. So I brought out the Neanderthal cave. These brainiacs probably will fit right in in this dungeon. Mainly though, they're just going to provide the brute strength that I need here with three damage. What about you, Luke? What are you building? I'm building the Recycling Center. Hey, we saw that one before. I had that one in my yep. dungeon early on. Well, now it's time to lure these heroes to our dungeons. The Cleric is definitely going to come to mine, and the Fighter is going to yours, Luke. Let's see if I can defeat this Cleric. Three damage will happen here, then two more for five, then a sixth. Now I'm going to have to destroy a room. So I'm going to destroy the Spectre's Sanctum. That's going to give me another five damage which is just enough. So I'm going to add two points to my score. Well, Luke, it's your turn. I think we all know what's going to happen here. <laughs> yes, I think the math is pretty straightforward here. One damage, then it's three, then it becomes four, then five, then eight, then two more for ten, then eleven, and you can destroy a room. Just destroy this room. And that's going to give you another five. That will defeat this epic hero, giving you... Ten. Ten points. Well, there you have it. Rodney Smith is the winner. Luke Rodney Smith? <laughs> yes. Luke's middle name is Rodney, so Luke Rodney Smith is the winner. Well, listen, I want to thank you guys once again, especially to our donators who voted on this game to be featured, and to Luke being a wonderful partner. I never mind losing to Luke. And, of course, to the rest of you, until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.